Okay guys, this is the first of my shipments of K-pop CDs. I got this on Amazon. The seller I used is import CDs at Amazon.com. I guess that's the name of their shop, but that's who I got these to. I only have two CDs here. This is not the big shipment I'm getting from kpopmart.com. The reason I have my nail clippers right there is because I had to use it to take the plastic off because these CDs were wrapped in plastic and I just didn't want this to take a long time because if you really are interested in seeing somebody rip the plastic off, I'm sure there is a video on YouTube for you to watch that happen. Um, but yeah, these are the two I got from Amazon. I paid hardly any money for them, like seriously, little to nothing. Well, not little to nothing because this was actually kind of expensive, but the Mama, I paid less than $10 including shipping. I think this was like seven something like seven then plus another three shipping so yeah it was it was cheap but this is the EXO mini album for mama I like the honeycomb pattern on here that's pretty neat and then when you open it up it's official by the way um, when you open it up it's got this here which geez this is hard to get out mm. Mm. sorry about that y'all I'm sure you didn't need the extreme close-up but I had to two-hand it on that. All right, so Mama, there you go. There is Baekhyun, Jungin, uh, Kyungsoo. Other side, we got Sihoon, which I always forget is in this group. I swear, every time I try to list the members in my own mind, I always forget him. Uh, Chanyeol and Suho. Why I remember Suho before I remember Sihoon, I don't know. I think it's because of the photo card I got in the Overdose mini album, but let's open it up. And it's got this which is the actual CD itself and it is in an envelope which just makes it seem like it would be really easy to break this if you wanted to it looks like there's the honeycomb pattern on the CD like I said I'm not gonna open it because I just don't want to scratch this up trying to one hand it um, then there is this which I'm not sure I want to say hexagon but I could be wrong but it's got this weird shape thing here which all the lyrics and the thank yous and acknowledgments are in here and then when you flip it over it's a mini poster yay how cute is that I would never use this as a poster but I'm just saying if you were one of those people who obsessively collects k-pop CDs and have lots of extras lying around you've got a poster for your wall alright this is the booklet from the EXO mama mini album it's all the fun guys looking fun but I will say, um, I've seen unboxings of this before. I like these pictures better than the pictures that are in the Overdose album because they're full body shots, which I think is just better. Um, there's a lot of different looks. These looks are normal looks to me. And it just, I feel like they have more personality in these pictures than they do in the pictures from the Overdose album. All right, then there's the little insert where SM wants you to buy something. And my photo card is the group photo card. Well, that's lovely. Isn't that nice? And then on the back of the card, signatures. Lots and lots of signatures. How fun. So that's what I got. And I'm happy with it. I think for 10 bucks, that was a pretty good buy. I think I could have done worse for $10. All right, this is the Misconceptions of Us. Now, I, this is the first brand new shiny album I've ever owned, so I don't have any shiny photo cards. I don't have any experience with new. I just have the one used Amico, so this is nice. And then I got this for like $30, including the shipping. So I got a really great deal. Like I said, import CDs on Amazon. This is the official sticker, just to let you know this isn't bootleg. It came with all the fees that official merchandise has. And then you can see the track listing of Why So Serious Misconceptions of Me. And then uh, Dream Girl, The Misconceptions of You. It's got the extra songs on it because if you get the, if you get the Misconceptions of Us, it comes with extra songs. Why, I don't know. That's how, you know, it's, that is a... That is a rant I have about K-pop. When people spend so much money on CDs, then you turn around and you do a repackage and you add like one or two songs. It makes me not want to buy the original. In fact, that's the reason why I bought The Misconceptions of Us. 
I wanted to get these two albums, and I was like, I'm just going to get every shiny album. I'm working my way there. But I thought about it. I'm like, well, this is the exact same music, and, and you get both of the covers, but you get bonus songs if you get Misconceptions of Us, so why not? So that's why I went with this instead of buying them individually. I may go back and buy them individually, but as of right now, I'm pretty pleased with this. For 30 bucks. you get two CDs, so that's okay. Um, because I bought this on Amazon, it did not come with a poster, so that's kind of the drawback. You get it a little bit cheaper, but it didn't come with a poster, but I'm not disappointed because I saw the poster for this particular album, and I didn't want it, and I went ahead, and I'm going to be getting the poster for everybody, which I think, to me, is a far better poster, and I just, I didn't need the poster on this. All right, this is the first Misconceptions, and you can see the CDs there. I think this is one of the most fun looking CDs, like just all the little pictures and everything and the little nubbin and it's just nice. And this is a lot sturdier construction than that stupid envelope that comes with the Mama Mini album. I mean seriously, for people who save these things and may want to go back and play them, it's going to be all scratched up if you put in a little envelope like that. Anyway, the misconceptions of you. I'm not going to go through every page, I'm just going to kind of flip through this really quickly because otherwise this video would be forever, but can I just say this is one of my favorite concepts of all time in terms of shiny, and not because I think that this concept necessarily looks good on them, it's really merely for the guffaws, I mean I laughed so hard when these teaser pictures came out, I just thought this was like somebody at SM is super duper high and they said, you know what? We're just going to do an album on everything that I tripped balls on the other night when I was high on LSD. And that's what it is. And I love it. Leave it to SM to decide that Shiny would be the one that would be the LSD trip. I love that picture is so pretty. You're so pretty. When he shows his freckles, I have to say, that is my favorite key look is his freckles. And yeah, everybody looking decent. Like I said, I'm not going to dwell on it. Then in the back, there are the lyrics and credits. I guess I should flip it because it's hard, y'all. Anybody who's seen an unboxing, you think it's easy, but no. Trying to one-hand this stuff is terrible. It's really, really hard. Unless you have, like, a stationary camera, you can use both hands. This is not easy. But, yeah, pretty art, pretty faces, pretty babies, pretty boys. You all look so nice. You're my favorite and my best. You're my favorite and my best. Okay, so that's the first one. Next one, this is the photo book that comes with Misconceptions of Us. I'm going to get to this last. So we're going to do the next album, the Weiss the Serious album. Actually, of the two covers, I like this cover the most in terms of like the, the melting and stuff. But the title track on this one is the worst. All right, so you've got the album here, which I don't know why these things are turned weird. But there you go. Awesome. Misconceptions of... Oh, look at the shine down here. Jeez. Misconceptions of me. Okay, open this up. And it's got more photos. Ah, oh, freckles. I just love the freckles. I don't know why, but I, just, I like imperfect perfection. That's a nice photo. These are nice photos. These are lovely. This is lovely. You all look great. This is wonderful. I could say this... I could repeat these same phrases a million times, y'all. I'm serious. Don't count on me to give you anything new or insightful when it comes to this. I just think they're love. Oh, gosh, you're fucking freckles. You're fucking freckles. They just do everything for me. I love your freckles. Don't change a thing. Quit wearing makeup. I love your freckles. Um, picture from the making of the MV for Dream Girls, I believe. Um, more photographs. More Dream Girl MV photos. Uh, more freaking freckles. Love your freaking freckles. Uh, envy photos. That is really nice hair. Your hair looks really good there. Uh, more freckles. I can look at freckles all day. All day long. This could be you and me. I could do this all day. But yeah, um, like I said, I'm not going to go through everything. If you want a more in-depth analysis, there's lots of unboxes out there where they go page by page slowly. It's just not for me. Credits and then this little fold out here. There you go. Lastly, we're going to look at the photo book that comes exclusively with the Misconceptions of Us, which this probably is, if I had to guess, because I haven't, I've tried to avoid looking at unboxings of this particular one because, I don't know, for some reason I just wanted to be surprised. I am going to hazard a guess that these are all like MV photos from Why So Serious. That, that's my guess. Um, scribble, scribble, scribble. 
Oh, look at y'all. Look at you looking so cute. So this is like showcase photos. Awesome. That's a nice surprise because I hated the video for Why So Serious, and I think most people did too, and they don't want any pictures from that. I just, I just hated the, the outfits, the, the fishnet shirt thing. Ugh. I won't even get into it. Anyway, more fun scribbles, more showcase photos, more concert photos, more showcase photos backstage. Look at you guys, don't you look good? More scribbles, more photos. Aren't you guys the best? You're the best at what you do. You're the best ever. Five year anniversary photo, come on. That's nice, that's nice that, you know what, I don't know if they do this in other K-pop albums, but it's nice to have a K-pop album that has an acknowledgement of like the group's longevity in it. And this is the last page. Hey guys, see you later. And then some art right there. It says, I'm tired. Gosh, whoever said that, damn right y'all are tired. Y'all work entirely too hard. After, oh, I think you saw it. I think you saw, ah. Oh. After a year of having like three albums released, I bet y'all are tired. There's the SM Sing advertisement. And then my photo card is key. Oh, I feel like singing We Are the Champions, but I don't want to get copyright infringement, but damn it if that's not the best. First of all, you're gorgeous any and every time, but you look particularly dapper here. I kind of wish that you didn't have the leopard print with the t-shirt. Like, I wish we could take the t-shirt away, but still, you look wonderful. Your earrings, your hair, your pretty little beret, is everything. And then, of course, you know, signature on the back. Wonderful. So yeah, that is my haul that I got from import CDs at Amazon.com, unboxing of Shiny's Misconceptions of Us, unboxing of EXO's Mama Mini album, and I should have another bigger unboxing coming, but this is all I ordered from import CDs at Amazon.com, so I'm happy with it. I think I had like a grand total on my order was less than 40 bucks, which for the thickness and heft of the Misconceptions album, that's really awesome. So look them up sometime if you are ordering from the United States. I can't say what their shipping would be like outside the United States. All right, then. Well, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.